Thursday's dramatic tornado outbreak is one for the record books. 81 reported tornadoes across 10 states. Initial estimates show this monster storm cycle produced at least one EF4 tornado touching down in New Minden, Illinois. It would be the first ever recorded in the state's history in November. EF4 tornadoes are capable of packing wind gusts up to 200 miles per hour. Those gusts were powerful enough to annihilate entire neighborhoods and flip cars in Indiana. The storm system isn't believed to be as powerful as the EF5 tornadoes that devastated Moore, Oklahoma in May and Joplin, Missouri in 2011, but its timing sets it apart. A strengthening area of low pressure moved over the Great Lakes with very cold, dry air behind it. That mixed with the warm, moist air from the Gulf ahead of it, and that big contrast in air collided with wind shear, a sudden and drastic change in wind direction at different heights in the atmosphere. 101 tornado warnings were issued in Illinois on Sunday. That's more than half of the warnings that have been issued in the state since 1986 in one day alone. You know, and there's a lot of confusion always with people saying, well, how strong was this tornado? We don't know that yet. We have the National Weather Service. These survey teams are going to be coming out today. They're going to be looking at damage just like this behind us, and they're going to be evaluating how strong was this tornado, and we'll find that out hopefully later today. I mean, I know it matters. You know, you have to record it, and you have to make sure you get it right, but I'll tell you, to the people in the community, all you have to do is just look at it, and, and the numbers are going to come really second to them. And it's interesting, you were telling me it was 20 degrees warmer yesterday. Right. So today, it's a cold day and a cold reality for this community and many across the country will be back here in Washington telling you what's going on here as people try to get back on their feet after what you see behind us. A lot of other news as well, so let's get back to New York and Mikhail.